Hello and welcome back to another Xenotic casting video. Today we have Drainer versus Tommy. We are on Dark Zone. Very old map. Quake 1's DM6. Beautiful shot starting out there from Tommy. Nice hit. Tommy finding the first frag. That little section down there, much more useful to open in Quake. That is, um, there's an entrance in this game to a Crylink, which can be very useful, can be very important. And also a entrance, uh, but in, in Quake it's an entrance to the Lightning Gun, one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Question from the Twitch chat, how would I send you my games? Uh, contact me on the IRC, like just send me a message either on the IRC or just in somewhere, try and get contact with me um, or direct message me on Twitch as well. And, um, and then we'll work out what's the easiest way for you to send the demo across. So you can message me on Twitch, leave a comment as well, and we can work it out. If you're on the YouTube side of things, you can leave a comment. And we'll work out a way to get the demo across. Um, usually there's a few pretty easy ways to do it. The demos are very small files. Back into a fight around this mega room. It's much different to any other game with Xenotic's ability to shoot splash damage through the floors in this room. Very thin floors, so almost all the damage gets passed through. And Drain is going to go for the Crylink again, interestingly. It's not a quick way to get around this map. It's a very small map, so there's no quick way. Oh, very clever from Drainer coming out at the top there. Um, right as Tommy was on top of him. Clearly listening for that. Look at the damage through the floor from Tommy. There's no health in this room, really. Just that couple of bubbles over that side. And there's a couple up high. A tiny bit around the, uh, this little back entrance, which is just spawn protection. Drainer shooting shots up high. Nice shot there. Oh, and a beautiful connection with a rocket launcher to find Tommy. Brings the first frag to Drainer. Finds the second for himself with a nice guided rocket. And still manages to pick up the mega health. Tommy denied from that. Good bit of damage coming out here from Tommy. Drainer struggling to get into that door. It is quite a tight little door to get into. Drain just spamming the Crylink down. We do know Drainer likes the Crylink. It's one of Mirio's favourite weapons. Drainer's all-time favourite player, Mirio. Uh, it's a very good weapon for doing movement, fast movement. So Mirio prefers it as a capture the flag player. A master flag runner, Mirio is. He's well adept at using it. Drainer, absolutely beautiful. You can see the power of the Crylink. It's a very quick weapon to switch to and do some kind of like a, a flat cannon in a lot of situations. It's a very versatile weapon. If you've played Unreal Tournament, you can use it like the flat cannon in close quarters. Across long range, it's still kind of useful if you know how to use it and hold it down. Drainer completely stacked up on ammo though right now. Has absolutely no worries, just spamming out everywhere, trying to do some damage to Tommy. As Tommy's been picking up more armor and more health than Drainer for the last couple of minutes. I think Drainer going to have to be very careful, only with 9 health easily could go down here, but wants to take this armor. Knows that Tommy has to go into his line of sight to be able to take the armor, but gets taken down. Tommy going to grab the armor and get the hell out of there. Drainer with the mega health. Goes through. Tommy knows where he is. Finds the 50 though. Scaring Tommy off. Tommy can't have very much health right now. We can see Tommy running. So he clearly doesn't have too much health on the stack. 
Definitely not a lot after that direct rocket. Oh, but he is taking a lot of damage, so interesting that he would be running away. Potentially thought that uh, Drainer had more weapons than Drainer actually did. Nice shot there from Tommy. Nice bit of positioning. Gets out of there at the right time. Unfortunately, Drainer on very low health. Obviously didn't know that, but seems to have got out of there at the right time for himself. There's enough time for him to come back into this. We've got five and a half minutes on the clock. It means we've got just under five minutes of the game left to run. Good spam from Drainer. Very nice spam there from Drainer. Making all of these shots count. The spam, if it's not doing damage directly, it's uh, denying positional play from Tommy. It's keeping him outside of places that Drainer doesn't want him. A few dodgy grenades there bouncing off each other. Oh, a beautiful mid-air grenade as Tommy flies up into the air. If Drainer can land one more shot, I think Tommy's going down. But Tommy's going to land it and he's going to be able to pick up the mega armor. Drainer knows he's got it. Drainer hears he's got it. So Drainer could still have the timing on this. No worries about the timing. Tommy going to get both the mega items. Drainer needs that Crylink. Hiding in wait down here. Waiting for Tommy to make some noise over the top again. Very clever play and drain it. You can see the distance that that Crylink can shoot over if you hold it down and keep those baubles together. Right to the end. Oh. Well, that was quite surprising. I think both players were surprised by that move. Drain are going to blow himself up, but both players seem to be surprised. You see it. You go through the teleporter, somebody turns up, and you both pause for a second. It's like, wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to come out of here and go flying across and do some movement across here. Yada, yada, yada. Drain are opening up that bottom pad, but going in for the frag on Tommy anyway. Going to get taken out. 7-4 to four now the scoreline. Drainer seems to have been playing very aggressive in the last minute or so. And it's lost him quite a few frags. So hopefully he can calm down the control and bring... Calm down the aggression and bring back the control of the map that he had at the start of this game. Where he was able to bully Tommy out of a lot of the items. Only two minutes left on the clock though. Very nice th shot there. Tommy taking quite a bit of damage in that fight. Drainer only losing really all of his armour. But he didn't have much of that to begin with. And he's just stacked it back up. Now we're back for the next fight at the Mega Armour. Tommy's got the high ground, but it doesn't seem to matter which ground Tommy has. He seems to have the better of Drainer in this area. Drainer going to take Tommy out and grab the armor for the first time in quite a while. I think we're sort of talking three, almost four minutes for Drainer to be grabbing that armor and died every time as well. Great shot coming out from Drainer here. There is only one minute left. Tommy's in a bad spot. He gets taken out. Beautiful again. We saw this in another match that we've cast. Drainer with the shotgun switch. Absolutely beautiful. He's got one minute left. Or less than one minute left. He needs one more frag is what I meant to say. And Tommy's going to be just rushing away trying to hide. You can plus back though. And it cannot work out for you if you just run away, even with only a few seconds left, really. That's 20 seconds left. We've got 15 seconds. I think we're going into an overtime on this. There's 15 seconds left. Drainer's just tied it up, has control over the map. 
He can decide whether he wants an overtime or whether he wants to try and push it right now. Tommy is going to try and push the overtime, of course. And now we're into overtime. We have two minutes added to the game. And Drain is going to be looking to take very big control over this. We've seen what can happen in 30 seconds, though. So two minute overtime is an interesting... Uh, Interesting situation. Thirty seconds, no frags. Drain is gonna be waiting on this armor. I think once he's got this armor, he knows he can push very hard. Tommy hasn't got much. If he can go into the mega health, and now he's gotta try and stop Tommy. Beautiful rocket there. He's gotta to stop Tommy from taking this mega health. If he goes back through that teleporter, he turns up in the mega health room. He wants Tommy to come through, actually, I think. One Interesting there from Drainer. Not going for the mega health. Quite an interesting strategy. He's got very little health. Tommy's going to have quite a bit of health. Beautiful air shot there from Drainer. They've got 45 seconds left on the clock. And they're still tied up. You can see how this game goes from zero to everything. And then everything with zero frags. Beautiful shot there from Tommy. He looks like he could even be taking this into a second overtime right now. The way he's playing. Drainer's going to be stacking up on a tiny bit of extra health. Anything is going to help you. Grabs the armor. Looking for the mega health now. Rocket deflected over the top. He's in the mega health room. He's going to take Tommy out with 10 seconds left to go. He's got the mega health. Tommy has nothing. Tommy's going to have to just rush and hope for the best. But he's called GG. He couldn't find Drainer in time. And there we have it. Drainer beats Tommy. Asks, is it real? It is absolutely real. 9 to 8. An incredibly close game right there. Congratulations to both players. Thank you very much for watching this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.